Hi, I'm Kaya and welcome to my YouTube channel which started out as an identity crisis because I realized that I was graduating high school and I don't know what I want to do with the rest of my life. So enjoy! Today's video is a yes style haul because when I am anxious or when I accomplish anything, I just buy clothes and it's really unhealthy and it's not a good habit but you know it's motivating these aren't clothes that i bought all at once these are clothes that have accumulated over a year and a half of me following the process of accomplishing things and then rewarding myself with clothing so the first like section of this video is going to be all of the bottoms that i bought specifically like pants and skirts Shopping for pants is just really difficult for me. Like I'm 5'7 and so most of the times uh, they end up like really short and if I want to get longer ones they're like too expensive or they're the wrong color or the wrong shape. But overall uh, some themes you'll notice on my channel is that I really 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 like wide leg pants um, and to start out that sort of pattern of like straight leg wide leg jeans I have this pair of straight leg jeans, which are honestly so nice. Like out of everything I've bought from YesStyle, this is what I have worn the most. Um, they're definitely not as like dramatic as a true wide leg jean, but I would say that they're a little bit wider than a straight leg. Also, these are pretty short on me. Definitely like a lot shorter than it looks on the picture of the model. I'm assuming that she's like maybe 5'1 or 5'2. Um, and yeah, just overall, like a lot of like Asian websites and Asian brands, like clothes end up a lot shorter on me, which I'm honestly okay with because these look okay as like a cropped like angle jean. Um, so that's what I use them as. Yes style jeans, they come without the button. The button holes are not cut open. You have to cut them open yourself. Um, there's like these two on the sides that are for decoration that I just literally have not cut yet because I'm far too lazy to do that um but I did cut open the middle one by myself and it's been working pretty well so far like it's not breaking at all um and yeah I've been wearing these for over like a year and they're pretty cheap and they haven't like torn at all so I'm pretty pleased with the quality considering the price overall I'd recommend them especially if you're shorter than me um but if you're around my height too, they're just like a cropped pair of jeans. The next pair of pants that I purchased was this like cream colored trouser sort of thing. Um, obviously it is a very different material than the one that they are advertising on the picture and probably the purchase that I am the least happy with out of everything. They fit pretty good considering the material and the cost. Um, they do have like these wrinkles in them from when they were shipped here that I just haven't bothered to iron out and the reason I haven't bothered to iron them out is because these pants are so see-through from the back. How are you supposed to wear them at all? Like you literally just can't wear these pants and like even if my underwear isn't necessarily showing if I like wear the right color or type of underwear. If I ever want to tuck something into this, which I definitely do because I either crop or tuck in everything I wear, um, yeah, like that's going to show through too and it's just not a cute look. So I wouldn't exactly recommend these. Maybe it's better in other colors. I know lighter colors tend to be a lot more see-through, but yeah, just it's pretty annoying. It's the right length though which I can't say for the other pair of pants, but it just, yeah, if, if I can't wear it, there's like no point. The last bottom pant situation that I bought was a skirt, and it is this blue tennis skirt. I bought this because I already had like a white tennis skirt and I wanted to mix it up I guess and I just think that the baby blue color is so cute. It fits pretty well. It's a little bit tight on me. I got a small, I usually get smalls, but um, yeah, I'd recommend double checking the reviews for the sizes because I think a medium would have been too big on me. So I ended up going with a small and I kind of just like squeeze myself into it and see if that'll work. 
it's not too short and the great thing about them is that they come with shorts on the inside and so you don't have to worry about just like having your entire butt out there so the next section of this haul are going to be tops that i bought um there are quite a few more than bottoms that i bought so we're going to start out with the crop tops that i purchased yeah the first crop top that i bought was this just like a really plain really cute lavender crop top i have an unhealthy addiction to the color purple and i just really like how it looks on my skin it's this really pretty color um there's not much to say about it it's just kind of like this boxy sort of crop top honestly a little bit longer than i wanted it to be it sort of like meets the end of my high-waisted jeans or goes a little bit past them so if you're more of like a low-rise jeans type of person this could be like really good for you i honestly usually will like knot this up and shorten it even more when i wear it um because i usually use it as like a layering piece and something's going over it anyways so no one can really tell if it's all like bunched up in the back overall pretty good a decent material a lot stretchier than i thought it was gonna be the next crop top that i got was this one um it's like a blue long sleeve striped crop top they had um, a bunch of other colors uh, of this crop top and the lavender one that i just showed you um this one is so nice it fits really well um again same issue with this crop top and the last one it's a little bit longer than i wanted it to be but this one's honestly easier to like make shorter because you just fold it over and then it just kind of stays there like these crop tops are honestly a good length i am just obsessed with making all of my crop tops like pretty short um because i just think that's more flattering and it brings more attention to my waist and i'm also just obsessed with showing people my stomach even though i'm really insecure about it the next section of tops are gonna be like outerwear or like things that aren't necessarily outerwear but i use as outerwear they're just like shirts honestly but the first one is sort of like this hawaiian shirt it has like a collar um except the pattern are uh these cranes and i think it's really cute like i'm not gonna lie to you i like hawaiian shirts as much as any other bisexual out there but like the bright colors aren't always for me and so i appreciate like that this maintains the shape and form of a hawaiian shirt without being something that i really have to work hard to style instead of something that kind of just naturally incorporates itself into my wardrobe which you can probably tell from the modeling videos because I've been wearing this a lot over like a turtleneck and tying it up and I think it looks just really nice and I think it looks cute like opened and tied up and it would probably look cute closed too that's just not really my thing and yeah this is like just really versatile it's something that I would recommend if you're into like pieces that can be worn multiple ways the next sort of like pseudo outerwear situation thing that we've got going on is this oversized plaid shirt. Um, is it plaid or plaid? It's spelled plaid. Like AI makes the A sound, but I'm pretty sure like I currently live in Texas. I'm pretty sure people here say plaid. Pronunciation is hard guys, but it's this oversized plaid shirt. Um, oh my god, I'm literally, okay, I'm just gonna say, like, patterned from now on, because I literally, I don't want to say that word anymore. I don't know if I'm saying it right or not. Um, again, probably like a one-size-fits-all situation, oversized. It's, you know, like a cute basic piece for when I want to look kind of put together. I wore this once just with, like, a crop top underneath, and my mom said that it looked like something that I had pulled from the lost and found because it didn't fit me because it's oversized and she doesn't really understand the concept of clothes being oversized, but yeah, she, she said I looked like I was homeless, so that's fun. I, I changed um, after she said that. The last um, oversized outerwear piece of clothing that I purchased was this cream colored cardigan. It is really nice. It's really nice. I wear it a lot. It's sort of like a blanket 
for days that I need to like just be wearing a blanket all the time. Honestly, not as soft as a blanket. It's a little bit of a, I wouldn't say scratchy, but it's definitely like a rougher material than some cardigans are. But I honestly think it's kind of nice because it makes it sort of fit a little bit more stiffly. So it looks a little bit more like today's cardigans rather than like the ones that your English teacher wears, which are like really soft and really long. Um, it has like a balloon sleeve, which I love. Also, the sleeves on this are actually oversized on me. They go to like maybe here, which I really like. Also, the buttons. I just really like the buttons. Um, they're really plain. They're just like black and big, but I like things that have big buttons. And this cardigan is honestly so cute because the stitching on certain parts is like black. So it adds some detail. I don't know. I just really like this cardigan, even though like I own comfier ones, it's usually the one that I use the most because it matches with almost everything and it fits really nicely, so honestly the move. Probably my second favorite thing from this haul. The last item on this haul is this sweater. It's so cute. Like I'm actually, I have an unhealthy obsession with this sweater. Like it's kind of like every time during like the colder months I have to go out I'm like, wait, what about the strawberry sweater? And then I realized that like most of the people who I'm hanging out with during the colder weather have already seen it like eight times and I should definitely wear something else. Yeah, I think this sweater is really cute. I've been looking for a crew neck sweater that I actually really like for a long time because I'm not a huge fan of like the plain ones. Uh, although I do think I'll be getting one for my college because like I actually have a reason to own a plain or crew neck sweater if it like represents my college. This is a crew neck sweater that I can actually like get behind and use and I've just been looking for crew neck sweaters because they've been coming back in trend. So the last piece of clothing that I really have to talk about is the singular dress that I bought from YesStyle and it is this red dress. It is a midi dress I describe it as. Um, it's pretty fitted through the top. It has like a sweetheart neckline and these puff sleeves that are just so adorable, um, which you can tell that I'm obsessed with by now. And it has like a slit through the front and I just really like this dress. I've been kind of scared of bodycon dresses just because I'm not super comfortable with how my body looks in them. Um, but this dress was definitely a good way for me to kind of push myself like out of my box a little bit without it being like too overwhelming or all at once um because it is pretty tight fitted but it still kind of has like a flair to it and it still kind of like defines my weight um overall i really like this dress like i said the shape is super pretty it looks almost exactly like the picture of it um I'd recommend it. I will say the pattern is a little bit strange and it is the same pattern as the picture so that was just on me for not noticing that. And the other thing is that the material is kind of like a swimsuit material, like it feels a little bit plasticky. It's definitely not a normal dress material but I think it's still pretty and it's good for like a few uses and it's pretty good quality. And yeah, I think it's cute um, and worth it if you're into that sort of thing. There's only like two things that I don't really wear from this haul. The first being this red dress that I just showed you, um, mostly just because I don't really have an occasion to wear it to and like even though it makes me want to go out on a picnic, I'm very allergic to nature <laughs> um, and it, I, I, I'm not down to plan a picnic and no one is inviting me to one so I haven't really gone to one yet wearing it. The red dress is the first thing that I haven't really worn that much and the second thing is the cream pants because they are just see-through and even though they're kind of cute like I'm not dealing with that. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that my comments were interesting and a little bit helpful. I'm definitely hoping to work a lot more on this channel. Let me know if there's any specific types of videos that you want to see from me. I'm going to be trying my best to post weekly videos, so please consider subscribing and thank you so much for watching.